Hi guys, welcome to a small to meal teaches here. I recently posted a picture of this work in progress of Little Lion Blaze on Twitter, and I posted how I got these reflections of the cats running in the water, and somebody asked me how I did this. So, this is just going to cover how I did these reflections. Um, it's actually fairly simple once you're kind of familiar with After Effects. So, what I did was I used this module library that's up here and the network that's down here. Now these are look really big and complicated because I've got a lot of layers going on but um, if you're here in the network I can hold spacebar and click to drag this around and we're basically we're just looking at these four layers and you can also see these four layers over here in the uh, in the layers. So first thing that I did was I copied, let's say Lion Blaze here, I copied these frames that I wanted to reflect. I control C, I made a new drawing, put that below the others, and pasted them pasted the frames. So now you can see double lion blaze here and now what I'm gonna do is reposition all drawings. So you just click and hold on that and reposition all drawings um, and then it will select all the drawings and if I move one of them it moves all of them. So now all of these frames are over here. I'm going to turn off the onion skin so it's a little easier to see. See now they're all over here and if I move it down here, you know, same thing. It moves wherever I, I position them whereas opposed to using just the select I'd have to move frame by frame. So reposition all drawings, right click, uh, transform, flip vertical, so now it's the opposite way of Lion Blaze, and if you had a mirror like in front of them, you'd do the same thing, but you'd flip horizontal. I moved this down in position here, and I squashed him. Okay, and then, once that is done, we move over here to our network and I pulled this off to the side you can see where it plugs in to the composite the composite is what renders so it's drawing four and I use blending up here in the module library if you don't have these uh, in your toolbars you can just click these little down arrows on the side and you'll see module library here and you'll find blending under filter so under the filter tab and then I put my network down here and there you go you can see network so you can just put it right down there um, okay and then like I said I took blending just grab onto blending and pull it down here you want to unplug the drawing 4 and plug it into your blend mode module blend mode module you then want to plug in where it had been plugged in before and then you can click on this little yellow box here on blend mode, blend mode module and then this is going to bring up the layer properties so when you're adding effects into Toon Boom just remember that you plug your drawings into your effects so that your drawings are filtered through the effect and then it's running through that filter to go into the final composite. So that's a, that's a way to remember how to do this. So anyway, uh, then what I did to get the effect is I went to blend mode and you, you have a whole bunch of options here. You can try different things and see what you like. Um, in order to see what the final piece would look like, Got to move up here 
I'm just going to hide the other reflected lion blaze. I'm going to move up here and hit render view. It'll probably take your computer a moment to get to this, but this is what your final render should look like. So you can see this is what a multiply blend looks like. You know, screen makes it really bright, lighten, darken, difference. There's a whole bunch of different options. Um, if you're familiar with the same kind of Photoshop layers, they're very similar to that. What I did is I went to overlay. I liked how that looked the most. And we will click off of it so you can see it better. Now that's close to what I had in the final picture, but not quite. You can see cinder pelt here isn't as, uh, is more faded than lion blaze. So then what I just did is you can probably either, either add a transparency uh, filter, which would be right here. And you could just do the same thing, drag and drop this down and plug it into here. You can have as many plugins to effects as you want. Just remember to plug that into the composite. And then filter, transparency, 60, maybe 20. No, that gets more. So let's try 90. There we go, that's kind of close. So that's one way to do it. Uh, how I did it, however, though, just get rid of that, is I went right to Drawing 4, double click, we'll bring up your layer properties. I just went to Drawing, Opacity, and I took it down to, I think, 40. Yeah, that looks right. I took that down to a 40. And so there you have it. There's how I got my reflection in the water. And obviously you can tweak and add different effects. You can add a blur to it if you want them to feel more blurred. Uh, there's even uh, this effect right here in the module library that's refract that will give kind of a ripple effect to them. But this shot is so uh, fast. You know, it only lasts a few frames that that I'm not going to bother putting the refract on it because it would just make it look messy. But, um, and like I said, remember to have it on render view. You can't play the animation in render view, but you can see what it's going to look like in the final form. So if you want to see it played, you'll have to come back out here and hit play. And it won't look exactly the same, but it's going to look close. So there you go. That's how I did that effect. And I hope you guys are having a great evening. And uh, more stuff from me is on the way as soon as I finish this darn map part. So see you guys later.